is a devotional from Leslie M. John. You are the children of light. Visit lesliejohn.net. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. 1 Thessalonians 5 4 5. Speaking about his coming again, Jesus said that we who are in the light need not worry about it. We who are the children of light will gladly say Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. It is joy to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air and thereafter to be with the Lord forever and ever. The second coming of Jesus is terror for those who have not accepted Jesus as their personal Savior. It is terror for them because they are the children of darkness. As for us we are saved and are in the light. We are called as the children of light. The times and seasons are given for us to follow but not to predict the date of his coming again. The time and day of coming again of Jesus is not revealed to anyone. It is known only to the Father. After the expiry of the great tribulation period, when the Lord steps on the Mount of Olives, every eye shall see him. Everyone who pierced the Lord, and everyone on the earth will cry for him, because he comes to rule. He will not be coming like a lamb again, but he will come like a lion to rule the earth, and to rule every nation. Every tongue shall confess then that Jesus is the Lord. Their eyes will be open to acknowledge that he was the Messiah who was to come and who came for the lost sheep of Israel once. Matthew 15 24, 1 Thessalonians 4 16, 17 and Revelation 1 7. It was with great agony and suffering that our Lord Jesus walked from Gethsemane to Golgotha bearing cross on his shoulder. We were under the bondage of sin and were supposed to carry that cross, but Jesus carried that cross on our behalf. Had not Jesus suffered and died on behalf of us we would not have received salvation. It pleased the Father to bruise Jesus. Even though Jesus knew how hard it was to carry our cross and our sin, he submitted to the will of the Father and said Thy will be done. He went away again the second time, and prayed, saying, O my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, Thy will be done. Matthew 26:42. On either side of Jesus two thieves were crucified and that was done to humiliate Jesus that he was equal with them. Large nails were run through his palms and feet onto the cross. Entire blood from his body was shed and every drop of the blood shed was for cleansing our sins. A crown of thorns was platted on his head, people spat on his face and pierced him. And when they had platted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Matthew 27 29. He was mocked as King of Kings, indeed he was the King of Kings, but the way they treated him was unbearable. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and he is the second person in Trinity. He became man for our sake and came into this world to die for our sake, so that we may receive salvation. Death could not hold Jesus in the grave. He was triumphant over death and rose from the dead. Later he ascended into heaven and now seated on the right hand of the majesty. He is the living God. We are the children of light and we do not have fellowship with the works of darkness. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Ephesians 5.11 Thank you for listening to this devotional from Leslie M. John. God bless.